everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got a very short Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, this is kind of a, I guess a midweek haul. Um, I went to, believe it or not, and I promised you this was the intention, to pick up one thing. And of course I got there and they didn't have the one thing that I needed, but then I found like, I don't know, 10 other things, maybe 15 other things, maybe, maybe 20 other things. And um, I decided to go ahead and buy them. <laughs> and uh, share them with you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. But before we get into these bags, I am going to, of course, say thank you to all of my subscribers, the short-termers, the long-termers, the newbies, everybody in between. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I'm crazy happy with the way that the channel is growing and so, so thankful of all of your support. If uh, YouTube recommended this video to you and you're checking me out for the first time, first of all, thank you, YouTube. And uh, thank you to you. Hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy the fun. Uh, Y'all, 4th of July stuff is already starting to come out and they have some super fun things. As a matter of fact, I use one of these things that's in another bag um, for a DIY project already. And um, check out these things, aren't they fun? Now they light up, I think anyway. That's what they're supposed to do. How fun is that? I know it's gonna be hard to see because of all the studio lights here. But um, I mean, come on, red, white, and blue necklaces. We all need them for 4th of July, right? And you can kind of see, there you can kind of see how it looks like it's sparkly and blinky a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Now it's on uh, like an acid trip or something. And, uh, okay, now it's kind of chill. It's got a little vibe to it. And now it's back and forth, and I don't know how... Okay, there it goes off. But they have them in red, white, and blue, and I thought that they would be fun. Um, I honestly am thinking maybe putting them on a wreath. I think they'd be really fun on a wreath for the door. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what they um, what they look like. Hopefully they, they don't... Give me a seizure or something like that. That would not be fun. Um, I bought a pair of cushy white um, socks. These are actually diabetic socks, but I heard that they are super, super comfortable for wearing just around the house. And uh, they got like a cushioned uh, kind of uh, foot pad to them. And um, I hurt my feet recently by doing a lot, a lot of walking. And uh, I've had a lot of swelling. So I'm going to try these too. And I've been using some Epsom salts and cooling socks and all those kind of things. Um, I bought some flashlights today because these were originally going to be used in a DIY project that you guys are probably going to see before you see this video. Um, so I'll make sure that I schedule this properly, but the wall sconces that, uh, you guys saw, um, I was originally going to put these down in there, but then decided to go with the LED or the, they're not LED, but the, uh, the, um, tea light candles, the battery operated tea light candles that change color. So the flashlights were going to be one option if the tea lights didn't fit. Um, Y'all, I am out of glue and as much as I love my Shore Bonder glue, I always grab some backups here and uh, this is Dollar Tree. This is just to get me in, uh, you know, just to, to keep me gluing basically until my Shore Bonder uh, stash arrives. So um, I always buy some backup, you know, glue from Dollar Tree or wherever, just in case, you know, you gotta have a glue gun emergency backup plan. And um, that's my backup plan. All right, I found these glasses during my last haul. I absolutely love these. I'm gonna end up buying like probably eight of these in total. I bought two more. They look like crystal, they're plastic. I love drinking out of these. It is a hefty glass. You can see it's about as big as my head. And um, these are so good. I really love drinking out of them. Um, my grandma used to always have a big like iced tea glass or a big glass of water or something. And uh, I guess that's where I get it from. I don't know, but I, I really love those. All right, this is another thing you are going to see in the DIY video that I played before this uh, haul video. And uh, that's the decorative star that I made out of that uh, that one project. And uh, as you can see, it's a tabletop decor. It uh, is flat and then it the two pieces interlock together. They have these in silver, red, and blue. And again, super, super fun. I bought two of these 
And then I decided to go back and uh, get some red ones and somebody else had already grabbed them. And I'm thinking ahead, like I'm thinking Christmas time. Christmas time, if you can find these right now, buy them and save them for a Christmas DIY. Um, I want to do something um, with some like, uh, I don't know, cottage core or farmhousey chic kind of stuff. And I thought that this lavender, and this is the lavender that's almost like, um, not fabric, but it's uh, it feels really, really good. It doesn't feel cheesy and uh, plasticky. And um, I can look at this one and see that a lot of it's already falling off. But uh, I love this lavender. It looks real. It looks like the lavender that I have in my backyard that actually is real. So um, I'm going to put this uh, up there. That way Otis doesn't eat it. Oh, by the way, this is also one of the Dollar Tree items that I was going to share with you. There's, It's available in... Uh, two different colors. Let me see if I can grab the other color real quick. Here's the other color. And uh, again, super, super cute. How adorable and amazing is this? I'll bring the blue one over to show you. Um, but they're not, they're just flat. They're just flat signs or Dollar Tree signs, but how gorgeous are these? And uh, the minute I saw them, like they immediately jumped out at me and I I wanted the blue one at first, but now that I see the purple one on camera and everything, I think the purple one's going to look better back here. I think it's more color. And it goes good with my little rainbow back there. So, um, again, super, super cute. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to DIY. I'm just going to leave it like that. And if you did want to DIY, what a great stand to be able to use this for. Like, I may end up doing that with this one, actually, because that's a great base for, for like, so much stuff so so much stuff um the other thing i grabbed were um i grabbed two more of these one of them was on the floor over there these house frames i have an idea for a lantern pretty straightforward just gonna glue the four together you know take the take this part out and make a house shaped lantern with it i think it'd be really really cute um i even thought about uh possibly playing around with some foam core or some construction paper or something and uh, maybe doing like a faux birdhouse so we'll see we'll see how that turns out um i always buy my double a and triple uh, a batteries at dollar tree and um, i've never had any problem with them some people say stay away from them i literally have never had a problem with them so i bought lots of batteries um I bought like two packages of double a's two packages of triple a's this was another thing that i found um it looks like a camera and um, I was thinking about uh, Shannon from the Daily DIY or her daughter collects vintage cameras and stuff. And I thought that that was super cute and I hope that she can find it. And Shannon, if you can't, let me know and I will get one for your daughter. But uh, it's ceramic and, it, you know, it does kind of goes all the way around. And what I thought was super cute about it is, I mean, you could paint that really, really easily. Put some, uh, what is it, Mod Podge on top of that and just start painting it and, you know, turning it. Like, I think it'd even be cute to use some metallic paint and, like, turn it into, like, make it look like a legit camera. I think it would even be cute back here. So we might, we might just zhuzh up my little set here. And, um, you know, again, something that's just really, really cute and fun. Um, this was another thing that I found. It was in the 4th of July section. Um, I bought it for the shape. I'm not going to use the little markers on it, but it is a wood cutout of the United States. And what I thought was super cute about it was the size of it. First of all, it could be really cute for a lot of things. I mean, the markers, you could certainly use those for something else, but I like anything that's kind of like a map of the USA or anything like that. And so, um, again, even if you just spray painted over that and covered up that grid, it would still be really, really cute. I did a DIY not too long ago with a map that I found at uh, Pop Shelf. And, um, you know, it, it turned out really cute. So I was happy with it. I went and bought more of these dice and I made sure that I had four that were the same size. I actually took my old set back and they let me exchange it for this one. So that was super nice of them. And then, of course, I already have my receipt on the desk. But, you know, Fetch Rewards. If you don't know Fetch Rewards, you should check it out. Every time you scan a receipt of some kind, you earn points. Grocery store receipts, Dollar Tree receipts, those tend to do better 
and you can get more points with those because they offer incentives for like uh, brand name products like Kleenex or Capri Sun or Pepsi, Lipton, any of those. And a lot of those things you can find at Dollar Tree. And then what's great about them is you earn a certain threshold of points and then you redeem those points for gift cards. So like you're shopping to get free gift cards and it's really, really cool. And uh, if you use my code in the link below, you'll get 2000 points right away when you start off your account with a valid receipt. So that is cool. And then uh, I'm not gonna, um, I'm sad actually, this is open. But uh, I have a, a little problem outside. I'm gonna put this outside actually, that way Otis doesn't get into it. Uh, I have a problem with fire ants outside. So they had this ortho fire ant killer. I'm not a huge, huge fan of these kind of things, but I need it outside because uh, I've tried a lot of natural remedies and stuff and it's just not working. So rather than uh, step in the ant hill pile again, which I did, um, I'm going to uh, prevent that from happening. So anyway, um, I told you it was a short haul. That's that's the haul. And uh, again, you know, I, um, I, I'll probably end up going to Dollar Tree again before the end of, uh, this will probably be, uh, oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll go again within a few days. Anyway, all right, you guys, take care. Bye. <laughs>